Welcome back to the farm for another project. If this is your first time, hope you enjoy. So I just signed up for my first arts and crafts festival and it's supposed to be kind of geared towards farming and homesteading. So I gotta kind of add my own little twist to a couple things. So let me show you what I'm working on and let's get started. All right, so for the first thing we're gonna be carving here, if you've ever traveled outside the US, we're actually the only country that puts our eggs in the fridge. Everybody else just leaves them on the counter. So I thought, well, what would be a way to encourage people to put their eggs out, not having that little piece of cardboard sitting on the counter. So this is what I came up with. So what I've got here is these were going to be some end grain cutting boards, but these are the pieces that had little imperfections that I really didn't want to have a chance of having voids in the cutting board. So I thought, man, these would just look beautiful on anybody's counter if you want to go ahead and put your eggs out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the circle for each one of the eggs with this 90 degree V bit, and then we're going to cut the centers out with this 1 8 bit. And I'm hoping since not eggs are the same size, having that taper going down into it will allow them all to kind of sit on this. So now I'm going to cut these so that we're actually going to have four dozen eggs so each one will have unique kind of little patterns and different things here with all different types of wood i've got three or four different kinds of woods all kind of glued up here so hope this turns out i didn't run any practice cuts or anything i just kind of wrote the program so let's get carving well this is one of those pay close attention before you hit go and when i initially wrote the program i actually had it where i set it to go from the bottom left corner but I centered it here on the center. So these ones are gonna be messed up. So I'll probably end up just having to cut this down. So I have a couple other little smaller ones here. Maybe we'll keep this one for ourselves. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get the center of these cut out. And then once these are all done, we'll get the second one going. All right, so let's cut out some mud out real nice with that little taper. So now we just have to go through, do some cleanup sanding, and then we'll cut each of these out on the saw, and then we'll do it just a real quick sanding to kind of make this all nice up on the tops and around the edges, and we'll get it all stained up. All right, it's been a couple of days, so hopefully we can finish this today, but I just got the egg trays all sanded down. Everything's all cut out. But the best part of where we'll get end grain is, obviously, when you put the oil on it. So let's over here, let's dunk these in oil and really see if these colors are going to pop. All right, so now these are made out of four different kinds of wood. We have alder, two different kinds of maple, and then some walnut out here. So I'm really hoping these colors are gonna come out real nice. So let's get a dipped in the mineral oil here and see how these turn out. Yeah, that's awesome. I was able to get all four in one tray. <laughs> Wasn't sure if they're all going to fit. Yeah, that really brings out, man, I love the look of that spalted maple. That really came out nice. All right, well, I'm going to let these sit in here for about 15 minutes, and then we'll take them out. We'll let these dry. And then we'll get the feet put on them. All right, so the trays have been drying overnight now. So I went ahead and installed the little feet down here on the bottom. Pretty happy with how the colors and some of the character came out with some of this vaulted maple. So hopefully they'll sell. We'll just kind of have to see how things go. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give a thumbs up. Feel free to share. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. I'll do what I can to answer them for you. If you want to stick around to see if these got sold, as well as all these other things that I've built and carved, Hit that subscribe button. I'll do a video on how things went for my first festival and if I'm going to do any more after that. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you around.